temperature for one minute so that it doesn't bleed underneath into the skin, causing a big bruise. And this is the shark. Do any of you mind that he is recording this? <laughs> For consent uh, okay. purposes, because they're like being recorded, you know. All right, if you want to take baby and put her in football. So I have her all swaddled up there so she stays nice and warm during the first portion of the bath. And then you're going to come around this way and just over top of the tub, make sure your back is not too mummy. <laughs> all right, so for the first portion, we're going to clean her eyes. I'm using saline for the first time just because. Um, that's what they do here, but at home, just water. Okay. Okay. And you're just going to take one of those and wipe the eyes from the inside out. So just a little, take it on your Away finger. Your nose. Yeah. Right. And just do a gentle massage on the bridge of the nose okay. and then wipe from the inside out. That gentle massage will help to keep the tear ducts open and prevent any blocked tear ducts. Okay. No soap on the face. It's drying and it's not necessary at all. Okay. Just wash all the way around her face and you can put your finger into her ear and clean out the inside of her ear. You can even use Q-tips, just don't go deep into the ear canal. Yeah. Johnson's yeah, I, ha I have some. Or the Avino, whatever. Which is the exact whatever. same kind, actually. Which is good. So that won't hurt the flaky, the, okay. Because she doesn't get that dirty, mm -hmm. you don't need to bath her more than once a week. Okay. For temperature control, once a week. Okay. Can you rinse it off? Yep. Just or keep how scooping long up. Until... up. Up until she's rolling around. Okay. Really. I mean, if she has a bad poop up her back, go yeah. ahead. If yeah. she vomits all over herself, go ahead, okay. right? But at least uh, only once a week. Okay. And, and when she starts to roll around, then you're going to notice she needs to bath <laughs> more. But then so. by that point, too, they can control their own temperatures. Okay. And then they just want to be naked. Okay. That's good. <laughs> We're excited. Then. She's handling it better than I thought she would. They generally like it when they're submerged in the tub. Yeah. Not so bad, huh? Yeah. Alright, so, oh, so I'm just trying to grab one of those towels there. And we'll massage her head. Dry her hair, and then you can afterwards you can put a hat on her head too if you want to. Yeah. Now I say don't bath more than once a week, but if you notice that we missed anything on her head, because sometimes it takes a little bit to get that stuff off, yeah. Yeah. you can give her another bath and practice at home. Just okay. do skin to skin with her outfit. Okay. okay. So we're gonna come this way. Sorry, there. Yeah. We're gonna lay her down head up here. I'm just gonna protect her head. I always sit, recommend bringing extra towels because you never know when she's going to pee. Yeah. And then extra wipes because you never know what you're going to find when you're going to get I know. And we're going to go quick because she's going to get mad, but that's okay. Undo her diaper. She's got good lungs. Yeah. Then we're just going to literally, she has a nice big pee. Mm -hmm.
go. Okay, under her armpit. Let's go under her armpit. And then right into the tub. We're going to wash her just like normal, and then you'll pat dry it, and then check it with every diaper change. It'll fall off between day 7 and 14. Okay. Oh, you're strong. Look at you. Mm -hmm. All right. Just make sure you rinse her hands really well, because you don't want her eating soap. Yeah. And then you can scoop her up underneath her arms and throw right onto that blanket over there. So we're going to squish the in there. 